everyone, my name's Denise and I work in the learning team at the National Civil War Centre. I'm really missing all of the pictures and stories and objects that I'm surrounded by every day at work. And so I've been making some for myself here at home. And this is the first in our Stay Home and Make History series. I'm going to show you how to make this paper, Charles I, just out of the sorts of things that you might have lying around at home. And maybe if you finish your schoolwork or you need a little break, you might like to have a go at making one too. Charles I fought against Parliament in the English Civil War. He believed that kings were chosen to rule by God and so he could not share his power with Parliament. Here he is looking magnificent in a painting by Sir Anthony Van Dyke that you can see in the Civil War Gallery of the museum. He is the only king ever to have been put on trial and executed by his own people. His head was cut off in January 1649, but on our model, we will stick it firmly on his shoulders. To make Charles I, you will need a pile of old newspaper, an empty cereal box, a toilet roll tube, an empty milk jug, either a four or a six pint will work, a little bit of PVA glue and a roll of masking tape. If you can't find any masking tape, sellotape will do. You will also need some A4 paper, some soft paper, tissue paper, wrapping paper or magazine paper will work, some paint, something like brown and flesh coloured, some scissors, a paintbrush and some coloured pens or pencils. First of all we're going to make Charles's head and to do that we need to make a ball of newspaper. So I'm going to use three double sheets of my newspaper and scrumple them up into a ball like this. Put one inside the next sheet of newspaper and the same with the next sheet of newspaper. Squash it down so you have a nice tight ball about the size, well a little bit bigger than a tennis ball. Charles I had quite a prominent nose so we need to make him a nose with a smaller piece of newspaper. Scrumple that into a ball and we're going to take some of our masking tape or sellotape and tape the two together. Take the nose onto the front of your ball. And then finally, place your face inside another double piece of newspaper, squash it down and have a little twist at the bottom for the neck. Now here's where we need our masking tape. We're going to cover all of that with pieces of tape. Make sure your head is completely covered in pieces of tape and you've smoothed them all down so Charles has got a smooth skin. Now you need to take your milk jug and a pair of scissors, take the label off the milk jug and undo the lid. Pinch it together a little bit and snip a little hole. You might want to ask a grown-up to help you with that. And then I'm going to slice this square bit off the bottom. And that leaves me with something that looks a little bit like a shoulder. And I can push the neck of my head down into the shoulders and tape that on. Now here's where you need to give Charles some clothes. 
And you can use your tissue paper, your wrapping paper, or even an old carrier bag or piece of plastic. Anything like that will work. You just need something that you can drape around Charles's body. So I've got some white tissue paper that was wrapping something up and I can wrap that around Charles's body. Put a little bit of tape on the back. And push anything that's left over into the bottle at the bottom. Now you don't need to paint Charles's skin if you don't want to. If you're using masking tape, you can leave it like that. But if you have a little bit of paint, it does look better. So I'm going to put some newspaper underneath my Charles and I'm using um, just a little tester pot that I had, which I've added some very small amount of red poster paint to, to make a kind of flesh tone. And then you just need to paint Charles, Charles's head all over. While Charles's skin is drying, we can make him a fancy 17th century collar out of a piece of computer paper, or you can use any kind of paper really. So I'm taking a piece of white paper and I'm going to cut a square by folding the corner down to the edge like that. And then I'm going to cut this rectangle at the bottom off. And I'm going to keep that rectangle because that's going to be really useful for making a feather at the end. So here's my triangle of folded paper. And we're going to cut something a little bit like a snowflake. You might have done this before at Christmas time. So I want you to fold the paper again along this way. And now what we're going to do is fold that side back towards this point. But we're going to fold this side back towards this point. I'm just going to do that again. I'm going to unfold the square. That's what we started with. We're going to fold it once. We're going to fold it twice. But then this time we're going to fold these two sides in opposite directions. So that's coming down like that and that's coming down like that. And then we're going to take our scissors and make lots of little cuts. And really we can do anything we like at all. You can just cut it in any direction and make any kind of pattern. But the important thing is not to cut all the way across because we want to end up with a lacy square. So here's my cut piece. So you can see I've taken lots of little V shapes in all different angles and directions all the way around the edge of my triangle. And here comes the fun part because I'm going to open this out now and hopefully we will have a lacy square to make the king's collar with. Let's have a look. Yours might look completely different from this. There we go. So that's my lace. And to make this into a collar, I need to cut an opening straight up the middle in that centre there. So I'm going to go from the, the centre of that edge right to the middle. And I need to give a little bit of room for Charles's neck. So I'm going to cut a square around in the centre there. And there we have Charles's collar and we can put it around his neck and see if it fits. This is my favourite part because we need to make Charles some long curly hair. And I just want to make that out of newspaper because that's what I have. So we need to cut a long strip. Now we need to make this curl. This is quite tricky and sometimes these strips break and if it breaks we just do it again. So take one of the blades of your pair of scissors and it works with any pair of scissors and 
push the strip of paper down onto the blade and gently pull it away. Be very gentle because it's very, very easy to break the paper. And there we have a curly ringlet. So now I have a pile of curly locks and it really doesn't matter if some of them have broken and are a little bit shorter, we can use those pieces too. So I have put my little bit of PVA glue into the bottom of my milk jug that I cut off earlier on and I'm going to use a little bit of cereal box as a spreader. So we just need to put some glue on the top of Charles's head, around the crown of his head and then we can stick our curly locks onto his head. So I'm going to start with the longest ones and I'm going to stick them with the slightly straighter part at the top and the curly locks at the end and we can always trim them off if they look a little bit too long. So when you've got Charles's curly locks stuck all over his head if you've got some left, you can do another layer of the shorter ones to make his hair look fuller. And if you've got any really tiny bits, hang on to those because they will make an excellent moustache. So now we've got Charles in his shirt and his collar with his beautiful curly locks. We're going to leave him to dry and have a little tidy up. 